An unconditioned motivating operation is a motivating operation that has not been conditioned. But no, that doesn't work. No, God, I hate it when I do it. No, I'm kidding. It's true. The word unconditioned always bothers me. It hasn't been conditioned. No, it's just that, it's, that you didn't need conditioning in order for it to work. Really? Right? What is that supposed to mean? Well, think about it for a second. If I withhold water from you for like, I don't know, 14, 15, 16 days, I mean hours, um, it might be that you will engage in behaviors to seek out said water, right? So there is a motivating operation present. Um, one could say thirsty, but that is so not behavioral to do that. It's not observable. So we just say, since it's been 14 hours since your last drink of water, um, we assume this person is engaged, is going to engage in water seeking behavior. Um, right, you, you get what I'm doing. I'm being highly technical with my, my description, but the unconditioned motivating operation part is that you didn't have to learn anything special about that, right? Um, it's just a, it's, it's a reflexive sort of thing. I mean, if I withhold oxygen from you for a while, I'm sure you'll desire oxygen and it'll create a motivating scenario. That's the point. Um, it, 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 it prompts you to engage in, it sets up a condition where engaging in certain behaviors will produce reinforcers. But it's without learning history because you didn't, it's keeping alive and sex and food and water and air and you get it. It's all the unconditioned stuff. <laughs>